What's going on guys, it's Rated here, welcome back to the channel today, I have you guys a really cool video, this is going to be me showcasing diamond camo on normal weapons versus heroic weapons in Call of Duty World War 2. Hopefully you guys do go ahead and enjoy the video, of course if you do enjoy it, definitely smash a like down below, let's try and go for something, whatever, 350 likes on this video, be greatly appreciated of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here, as I'm going to be posting a ton more Call of Duty World War 2 videos. Now this video is an idea that I came across when I actually unlocked a ton of heroic weapons I do believe I probably have around seven heroic weapons in Call of Duty World War 2 right now and I thought I'd go ahead and showcase it to you guys who are not as lucky as me to get all these heroic weapons now I did unlock diamond camo earlier on today on the assault rifles and on the assault rifles is where I have the most heroic weapons I was gonna do it for the SMGs as I'm like one camo off of actually unlocking diamond camo for the SMGs but unfortunately, I don't really have any heroic variants for the SMGs right now. It's mainly just sniper rifles and assault rifles. But in this video, I'm just going to be showcasing assault rifles. Uh, but I'm just going to be going over showing you guys that I'm actually maximum division prestige on every single division right now. Unfortunately, you don't get a heroic weapon for doing this. I pretty much wasted my time. There is nothing important once you go ahead and complete this. Apart from the fact that I can now go ahead and unlock the V2 rockets within this game for going on a 25 kill streak. But apart from that you only get an epic weapon and I'll be showcasing in the video epic weapons are trash in this game apart from the fact that they actually give you the extra 10% XP. But as you can see right now we're going to be starting off with the M1941 and we're going to be selecting diamond camo and now this is going to just be the standard variant of the weapon. As you can see it isn't that good. Diamond camo doesn't really show its true potential in this clip as you guys are seeing right now. It just doesn't look as good as it would on a clean weapon or as we had seen in previous Call of Duty titles. Now like I did say throughout this whole video I'm just going to be switching through the normal variants straight towards the heroic variants just showing you guys the differences and I actually have a ton of heroic weapons on the assault rifles but I'm going to be comparing an epic variant and I actually have the heroic variant of this as well which is pretty much the identical weapon variant as you guys are going to be seeing on screen right now epic variants make the camo look even worse than they do on the regular weapons which does suck so if you want that 10% XP Pretty much you're compensating the fact that your camo is going to look trash when these are applied to the weapons. Now not only that but when it's applied to an epic weapon it seems that it's taken much more damage than a normal weapon as you guys had just seen on screen right now. But when you switch over to the heroic weapons they look amazing it literally shows diamond the way it should be shown on every single weapon. Now I guess they've kind of done this uh, in a way that you're going to go ahead and actually have to buy supply drops. I don't think that Sledgehammer Games is that stupid. They've done this pretty much deliberately for the fact that you're going to want to go ahead and try and buy some supply drops when they are released so you can get these heroic weapons to make your camo look 10 times better. And I'm pretty sure the same will apply to chrome camo as well. We had seen some chrome camo gameplay already that was leaked from PC files. And to be honest, it didn't look good at all. It pretty much looked like trash. But they was, of course, showcased on the normal weapons. So who knows when they're applied to heroic weapons. It will look amazing. Like I did say, I'm going to be showcasing them on screen right now. This M1 Garand looks amazing. You actually get this from supply drops. As you guys know, you can only get heroic weapons from supply drops. And for some reason, I've just been extremely lucky when ranking up and getting these supply drops. I haven't really got enough supply drops yet to do an opening as I'm not saving them. I'm pretty much just opening them as I can just to get these heroic weapons. But the STG, the heroic STG is by far my favorite heroic weapon in this game. It just looks amazing. It's literally like... Uh, a submachine gun looking SDG. It looks crazy as you guys are going to be seeing by this gameplay. But what I want to know down in the comment section down below is what do you think of diamond camo in this game? Should it be looking like it does for heroic weapons on normal variants of the weapons? Personally, I think they should change it. So it looks the same regardless of what variant you have. Except for if you have a heroic variant, they will show little gold accents where on the normal weapons they won't be shown. And we already know it is purely for the looks of the weapon, not really for the stats or anything. Hopefully they don't change this when the supply drops get released and they keep it the same way it is right now. Because to be honest, the 15% bonus XP and the 10% bonus XP isn't really a lot anyway. So when you're going ahead and ranking up in Call of Duty World War 2, it's not really a necessary thing that you guys will want to go ahead and use anyway. I'm also going to be showcasing you guys the diamond camo on some of the worst looking weapons in this game as well. As you guys are going to be seeing later on in Eclipse. The weapons just look terrible on the SVT and uh, the M1 Grand and the M1A1 as well. All the weapons 
weapons that are pretty much epic variants just make the camo look terrible it's not even worth having a camo on at that point simply because you can't really see it and it's really not worth the grind now what I'm going to do is let some music play out through the rest of this video. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me ramble on for the rest of the video as it's not really necessary and I'm just going to be showcasing them in this video. But like I always do say, if you guys did enjoy the video or of course if you are enjoying it right now, a like is greatly appreciated. Leave a comment down below telling me what level you are in Call of Duty World War 2 and if you have made it to this far in the video, comment down below hashtag diamond camo or hashtag heroic weapons that'd be greatly appreciated but other than that hope you guys enjoyed the video check out my previous videos on screen right now hopefully you guys have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one Damn fine craftsmanship, Private.